Hello, I'm Genuine Nard, named after the oil poured out on Jesus' feet in the Bible. And this is my series on everything I've learned since my big chop on growing my natural hair. Anyone who knows me well knows that I hate to be cold. <laughs> and I have learned through this process that my hair hates to be cold as well. As a matter of fact, all of the gains that I get through the other three seasons are usually lost in winter to breakage. So until I learned why my hair broke during the colder months, I couldn't stop the cycle. This next clip is gonna show you what you can do to improve your winter blahs. Ah, winter, the beauty of the snow, the dryness of my fro. Shorter days can lead to shorter hair if you're not deliberate about protecting it. Winter can be seriously hard on natural hair. Cold, dry air, harsh weather, and everything that comes with it makes your hair prone to dehydration and breakage much more than in warmer months. Now, somewhere in Canada, there's this weird thing called the hair freezing contest. I do not understand the object of this game, but her hair is losing. That looks cold. <laughs> so how do you keep your hair from breaking like a twig in a snowstorm? If your hair starts to feel dry and brittle, remember to put your coat on. The best thing is to not let your hair dry out. One way is my grandmama's remedy. She would keep a pot of boiling water on the stove. Now she said it was to add some moisture into the air. And my grandmama knew what she was talking about. A pot of boiling water works wonders to humidify the air. If you don't want to watch a pot boil on the stove all day, you can invest in one of these diffuser humidifier air purifying nightlight machines. I don't think that's the official name, but I got it on Amazon. And I love it so much it's hard to express. Every few days, I add fresh water and some essential oils, and it just works. It's loud, but it works. It cleans the air, which keeps us from getting sick, and this one is a nightlight. And all that added moisture helps keep my hair and skin from getting dry and brittle. But I do give my hair a little extra attention. I remember to coat it with my luscious whipped winterizing cream. So here's a recipe if you want to print screen and have it. This recipe actually starts with a double boiler. These are great if you bake or cook a lot, and they're really not that expensive. I use four cups of water, and yes, you can use a pot with a glass bowl, but I've burned myself one too many times for that. The design of this aluminum pot is to prevent overheating or scalding. You just turn the water on high until it boils. Now, the first thing I add is cocoa and butter. It's kind of unknown, but it is so creamy. It's rich in fatty acids and triglycerides, but it's non-pore clogging. I use this great little ice cream scoop to measure. Now, cocoa and butter improves cell oxygen, making it more readily available to be used by the scalp. This promotes hair growth. And my pot is ready. So in it goes to melt. Now the next thing I use is African shea butter. Shea butter is wonderful. It has anti-inflammatory properties that reduce scalp irritation and it doesn't clog the pores. Additionally, it's a natural product. It's safe to use on all hair types, even if it's dry, damaged, or color treated. Now some low porosity ladies don't like to use shea butter, for them, I suggest using mango butter. I love bakuri butter. This isn't well known, but it's a source of sulfur. That's important to strengthen the disulfide bonds of your hair, making it stronger. Bakuri butter is also able to stabilize your hair's elastin production. This is going to promote hair growth. So into the pot, my little scoops go. The next thing I use is beeswax. Now it does have to be all natural. I ordered this block on Amazon, but if you have a local beekeeper, even better. 
Wax will lock in the moisture. It also smooths down flyaways. And if you're training your hair to straighten, this is a great tool. It doesn't have a greasy residue and it's easy to wash out. The trick to getting the most out of beeswax is not to use a lot or to use it every day. I don't use this whole block. I actually use this little block. And if you watch my video on clarifying, you can avoid product buildup. I add my scoop to melt the butters that's on it. Now the next thing I like to use is cocoa butter. It smells like chocolate. <laughs> cocoa butter not only stops breakage, but it repairs and prevents future damage because it makes hair super strong. And cocoa butter is so hard, I don't even try to scoop it, just put the whole block in. To loosen all this up, I add coconut oil. We know coconut oil is a great moisturizer because it penetrates the cuticle to the cortex. This helps strengthen the hair from inside out, preventing breakage and split ends. Coconut oil contains vitamin E and is almost all fat, and winter hair needs that extra coating of fat. Next, I add aloe vera powder. Aloe vera contains enzymes that repair dead skin cells on the scalp. It's a great conditioner, and it leaves your hair smooth and shiny. I use the powder in this mix because I don't want to have to add preservatives, and this has to last all winter. The last thing I use is bamboo extract powder. It has a very high silica content, which is a mineral that encourages hair growth by strengthening the hair, bamboo strong hair. Most of us have a silica deficiency, so anyone can benefit from using products with bamboo in it. What's more is this combats product buildup. Now all that's needed is to stir this and gently let it melt in the double boiler. No scalding, no drama. Once it's melted, I pour it in a container and let it get hard in the refrigerator. After about an hour or so, it is ready. I left this overnight, so it's probably too solid. And I probably should have broken this into smaller pieces. <laughs> when you make it, I'm sure you'll do better. And you know what? This still works. Add your whip attachment and you're ready to go. Now I add my essential oils. I never heat those because it'll weaken their effectiveness. And the first one that I use is jasmine oil. Jasmine is derived from the flower and its fragrance is believed to be an aphrodisiac. This mighty oil contains strengtheners that stop breakage in their tracks. The next is rosehip oil. It contains vitamins C and A, which stimulate collagen production, and it really smells great. And then the next one I use is lavender. Lavender has recently gained attention because it does stimulate hair growth, and studies have proven that. I can tell you it works for me and it soothes my scalp better than anything else I can use. Plus, it smells great. Lastly is cedarwood oil. Now, cedarwood oil tightens the follicles and it balances the oil-producing glands in your scalp. It's also antifungal and antibacterial and it adds an earthy smell to this mix. The rest is just letting the whip attachment do what it does. It's gonna whip it. It'll whip it real good. <laughs> because this was super solid when I started, it's gonna take some time. It's about 15 minutes, so I sped it up and edited the whole material down, but be patient. It's worth the effort, and you only have to do this once a year. You're going to have to stop and scrape down your bowl several times. This is part of the process. And it's still pretty solid. As it starts to melt and air gets incorporated, 
you're going to notice some changes in the color and texture. Keep whipping. As you take some time to incorporate that air, it's going to get light and fluffy. Keep going because this is going to settle in your jar a little bit. I changed views so that you can see when it's done. It looks like fluffy brown sugar frosting. Yummy. Now I buy these jars at the dollar store and I use them as gifts to myself and to my friends. This mix will fill up two of these jars. And again, it lasts all winter long. Please give this one a try. It feels luscious and it smells amazing. This whipped winterizing cream is super lightweight and it's non-greasy, but it coats my hair just like a coat. So I like to cover my hair even more in the winter and this next little bonus track is going to give you some great information. Here it is. One of my number one tips for winterizing is don't let your hair dry out. So yes, when you are protecting your hair, the whipped winterizing cream is going to do wonders to assist that, but you also want to give your hair a protective layer. So I'm talking about keeping your head covered as much as you can. This is a Winters, and I love it. It looks just like a regular turban, but it's a black owned business that took consideration of our hair in mind. This is what I mean. It is a stretchy, breathable cotton spandex on the outside, so you're not going to get too hot, but it's also lined with a silk polyester. This breathes beautifully and it keeps your hair completely protected. So I wear my little winters. Oh, and it has this little stretchy band on the back. Genius, because I don't want my turban to be slipping around and this prevents that. I wear my winters. Sometimes this is all I do and I can go to the grocery store or wherever else I need to go. Or I can wear this when I'm inside of an area where there's a lot of heating going on or a lot of wind going on. This is gonna keep my hair from drying out. And when I wanna change out the style, instead of just giving up on these cute little wool caps that will break your hair, I keep my winters on and then I wear this right over it. So these are fabulous. I got it for $16 on Amazon and I bought more than one because I'm giving them as gifts to several of my girlfriends who are also on a natural hair journey. Find a way to keep your hair protected and not neglect it in the winter time and your inches will be there when the spring comes. And that's it. I wear my winters 90% of the time over my protective style in the colder seasons. I also greenhouse my hair at least once or twice a week. It's going to really give my hair the hydration in those dry winter months that it needs to be able to stay strong until it turns warm again. So I hope that you will go to Amazon, get one of those winters or some other type of satin or silk protective cap that works for you. And thank you for staying to the end. Thank you again for watching. I would love to hear your success stories in the comments. You can click the red and subscribe to find all the videos in this series. Click here and check out these other cool videos and click the bell to get weekly reminders when I post something new.